Math Warriors, welcome to another video brought to you by GED Talk. In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can use the data key on your TI-30XS calculator to uh, help you with quadratic equation questions. As many of you know, this is the calculator you will be allowed to use on the GED exams, the math exam, the science exam, even some of the questions on the social studies exam. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how the calculator can help us when we are given quadratic equation questions. So if you are given the expression 2x squared minus 7x minus 30 equals 0 and then asked to choose the answer that is the only positive solution, your calculator can go ahead and help you with this. Um, as many of you know, when you have a quadratic equation, you can have um, two um, solutions. So this one is asking for the um, only the positive solution. So if you were wondering how would you do this by hand, um, many of you might have been taught that when you have that quadratic equation and you're looking for the two values that you basically unpack um, that equation and so you're you're breaking it up this is where a lot of students struggle because they have a hard time looking at the equation and then breaking it up and realizing that 2x squared minus 7x <clears throat> minus 30 equals 0 um, can be broken up into x minus 6 times 2x plus 5. And so because students have a hard time getting to this point, um, the calculator can help you with these types of equations. If you can get up to this point where you're unpacking it and you realize, okay, I can solve for x for both of these um, separate equations within the parentheses, you would notice, okay, well, the answer choice is going to be um, 6 because x minus 6 equals 0. To get x by itself, we would add um, that uh, negative 6 to both sides. And so x equals 6, that's the option. But let's take a look at how the calculator could help you if you weren't able to get to the second step um, of unpacking the quadratic equation. So, um, like I said, we are going to use the calculator to help us with this example. So, get your calculator, know where the data key is. The data key is in the second row, third column from the left. So, I'm going to press my data key and <clears throat> you'll notice that you are given uh, three different lists. And so, we are going to treat that first list as um, the placeholder for the different answer choices we see in front of us. So, I need to start entering this information. So, I'm going to press 5, enter, 6, enter, 7, enter, 8, enter. Once I have those values, and remember these are um, these values in L1 are being treated as X values, possible X values. I'm going to use my right arrow key and I'm going to move over to L2. And in L2, I'm going to share the expression 2x squared minus 7x minus 30 equals 0. So um, what I need to do now is press the data key use my right arrow key to move over to formula. That first option, add edit formula, is what I want. My cursor is there, it's highlighted black, so I'll press enter. And now I'm able to enter that expression. So I will enter two, but not x, because the calculator won't know what to do with that. I entered those x values that I see on my screen in L1. So um, I'm going to open parentheses parentheses because it's 2x squared. I like to make sure anything being squared is within parentheses. Um, so 2L1. So I got to press data to be able to choose L1. So I'll select that first choice, L1 squared, close my parentheses, minus 7x or data, L1, minus 30, and then I'll press enter 
and then all of the um, different values that I have in L1 were substituted in that formula and here I can see the different values. So the thing is is that your equation is equal to zero. So whatever answer choices you substituted for x the answer choice in L2 needs to be zero. Notice that your second answer choice that we inputted where x equals six equals zero. That is the answer, folks. x, when it equals six, um, we get zero, so six is the only positive answer choice. Uh, as I mentioned when um, I showed you how you could unpack this, there would be the second part of that equation that you would use, which was the 2x plus 5. And so if you take the 2x plus 5 equals 0, you'll notice that the second answer choice that you could have for this quadratic um, or I'm sorry, the solution for this quadratic equation would be a negative number. So six is the only positive solution and we used our calculator to help us with this one. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we share with you on how to use the TI-30XS on the GED exams. Brought to you by GED Talk.